Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. Let's inform the commander about the fact that the green flame has returned. Hopefully they'll find that a lot more important than hanging Silas for a crime they didn't actually commit. Private Scow, are you here to see justice served? Would you care to take his place, Scow? Uh, look outside of this dialogue box and look at the other rats. Why do they suddenly have, like, stars above their heads like they've been knocked out? Uh, Commander, I bring dire news. Tilo, what's wrong? What is it? Down on the bone shore, the dead have risen. What? What is this nonsense? Are you sauced, Private Scow? Sir, I know this mouse. You can trust his word. Scow? You're a mouse? Oh, yeah, uh... Oops. Hang him too! <laughs> hmm. I am, sir, and I apologize for the deception. So, you've been lying to me since the day we met. Did you even like my song? I would never lie about music, sir. I'm lying. <laughs> oh, then carry on. <laughs> I've done my best to help each one of you. Scrunt stole my snot rag. But I have come to warn you that this keep, this land, is in great danger. Enough. I'll not hear any more of your lies, Mouse. This is all some, some ruse to save your friend there from the noose. Guards, I'll have that mouse arrested. Mouse? What's he talking about, Mouse? Scow, have you seen any... Ah. Oh, no. Ugh. They've just been hit over the head. <laughs> what? <laughs> the two guards lay unconscious on the courtyard floor. Over them, hammer raised, stands the blacksmith. Rollo. You damned fool, Mouse, what have you done? Smithy, what is this? Now, now, Commander. Take a seat there, or you'll get the same. The chest full of crystal, buried down on the bone shore. You opened it, didn't you, Mouse? I was searching for charts for Paraclave. My charts. My charts? Uh, are you Captain Powderkeg? I was warned. I warned you to leave things be, didn't I? You're the pirate, Otto Powderkeg. Aye. Now the scrunt set loose the scourge of the green flame. The green flame? Have you all lost your mind? The green flame is a myth. I watched my crew's flesh melt from their bones. That was no myth. Did the dead things follow you here, Mouse? Uh, no, they collapsed before they reached the caves. Then maybe there's still time to stop them. Stop them? Stop them how? By smashing those damned crystals. But the dead, there's so, there's so many of them. Rollo, Captain, untie me. I can help you. The smithy hesitates, then gives a nod. Pulling a knife, he deftly cuts the ropes that bind Silas's wrists. You're welcome to join us, Commander. You'll not get far, I promise you. The red paw... <laughs> Smash. Was that really necessary? I gave him fair warning. The smithy strides over to his forge and pulls out a bigger hammer. Meet me on the bone shore, Mouse, and be ready for a fight. The smithy hurries through the west gate and is quickly out of sight. Silas places a paw on your shoulder. Go, Tilo. I'll be with you soon. I give you my word. Good speed, Silas. Silas gives a nod, then hurries up the staircase and into the watchtower beyond. <laughs> Everyone just falls over. Oh, but they're going to wake up soon. Hee hee hee, handkerchief. Handkerchief. They set their handkerchiefs on them. So they're guards I haven't encountered before, I guess? Hmm. So... 
They're going to recognize me even in this costume now, right? Actually, I don't think they do. Okay, cool. Whoa, wait. Wait, what? The heck was that? Were they trying to attack me? Uh... Okay, we're fine. It's weird, it really looked like they were sort of trying to attack me. Uh, yeah, meet you back on the shore. Okay, where am I meeting them exactly? Because the dead are kind of rising around me. Although that one seems to be having some trouble getting up. Hmm. A little bit stuck there. Well, that's got to be uncomfortable. Are they all the way over by, like, the boat? Something tells you that once you go through there, there's no way back. Yep, there they are. Whoa. Indeed. Hurry, mouse, the brissons. Take it to the chest. We have to shatter that crystal. Gotcha. Didn't need Brissons cast near the chest. And it's on a timer. Okay. Oh, right. I have no stamina. No sprinting for me. Oh, this one's still here. Alright. Come on. Oh. Hmm. Well, that actually kind of worked out pretty well. Yeah, I didn't really take that much damage from it either. Where's the Brissons? I thought it was closer than this. Did the pile move? Why is there one over here? I think we're gonna run out of time. It can only move so fast. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting there in time. <laughs> Just like a huge green explosion. You're dead. Okay. It's a bit odd that they didn't save the game right before that. Yeah, the presence is just like all over the place. It's weird that it moves from where it was before. It's bizarre. It's also very odd that there's like no sound. There's no battle music. I don't have any, like their weapons don't have any sound whatsoever. Completely silent. Get clear. Oh, that only damaged it a little bit, huh? What can we do? There's so many of them. Ah, uh, you can see why they call it the Bone Shore. Damn, that signal rat. Where is he? He'll be here. He swore it. At least the two of us will go out fighting. You'll not be dying here. At least, not alone. Oh. Gotta do a bunch of them. Okay. The problem is, if they swipe me once, like, okay, good. <laughs> okay, so when they, they die, they just literally disappear. <laughs> Alright then. But yeah, if they swipe me once, this thing explodes. Oh, do I not have it equipped? No, oh, there we go. I don't think I had it equipped. That's a fair hit, Mouse. 
crystal cracked, but it didn't shatter. It's gonna take one last push. Hit it again. Gotcha. Just please, for the love of God, don't hit me. Come down there, Silas. Tilo, are you alright? Are you hurt? Oh, forget the mouse, help me close the chest. Together the two rats heave the lid of the chest back onto its hinges. The smithy sets to work securing the locks. Too long. You were incredible. Gusto. Vitaly, that's Tilo, you idiot. Tilo is too long? What are you two doing here? We saw the battle from up on the ridge by the cave. We got here as fast as we could. Aye, we never run from a fight. But we always arrive just after it's finished. So there's no treasure then. Ah, Tilo, damned fool mouse. I should wring your neck for what you've done. I kept that thing hidden 20 years, gave up everything to keep it locked away. And now you... Captain? You... Auto powder cake, that's enough. I think the mouse is well aware of what's just happened. Well, I'm still riled up about it all the same. Is that it now? Is it over? Aye, for now. For now? What do you mean? The crystals aren't the source of the flame, more a channel for its power. Then this isn't over. No, the green flame is still out there, and far from beaten. How goes it, Mouse? Gusto, Vitali, you came back for me. Don't get mushy. We never really left. I just need to pick up a few more things. Farewell, you two. So, this is it then. Uh, wait, there was something I wanted to say? Farewell, you two. You're really leaving this time? Wait, there's something I want to say? Farewell. <laughs> I suppose so. Vitaly gives you a fond embrace. Farewell, Tilo. Vitaly. What? Give it back. Now. The mouse reluctantly hands you back your purse. Oh, what use are Florin's where he's going? Give him the other thing. Tilo, the first time you came to our cell... Wait, that's right. At some point, didn't I lose Bryn's figurine? I stole the black Lutka from your pouch. Ah. You shouldn't have done that. I didn't know what it was when I took it. Once you had left, I looked and it was too late. I was afraid you'd realize I'd taken it. You should have just told me. What was his name? Bryn. It's a good, honest name. I haven't said it in some time. Here. I'm so sorry. The mouse hands you the black Lutka. I, I think I'll be able to sleep now. Are you ready to go, mouse? What will you do now? There's no going back, that's for certain. Will you not come with me? And leave these three to deal with this? No, mouse. The council must be warned. The green flame has returned. One day I'll be singing songs about you. Well, 
Let's see if I can give you something to write about then. Silas, if I find Mara, I'm afraid... Afraid of what? There's so much I don't know about her. You know the kind of mouse she is. She took a stand. You should be proud of her. Don't let it be for nothing. Farewell, Silas. All ready to go? Aye, thank you, Silas, for all you've done for me. I want you to have something. Here. The rat opens his cupped paws to reveal a scap beetle. Take her. Careful now. Keep her with you. If you ever need my help, she'll be able to find you. Given time, if I trained her right. Tilo, about Bryn. I think it's time to move on. Aye. Silas hands you a scroll of waxed paper. Here, the charts for Paraclave. Go on now, and say your farewells. Now I've patched this boat up as best I can. She's old, but she should keep you dry. You killed the jailer, didn't you? To protect your secret. To protect the chest, aye. To keep it hidden. You were going to let me hang for a crime you committed? I hadn't made up my mind. Did... Did you kill the smithy? I... I'm sorry for that. I've done my best to do right by him since. The money you've been collecting? Aye, for his family. Yet still he's dead. If that thing in the chest wasn't the green flame, where is it? You know the song of the Gilded Warrior? Sing it. There's your answer. Paraclave. You'll find the green flame waiting for you there. Oh great. So we're gonna face it all alone? Strange. The green flame's power had no hold on us. Why did we not turn? Who can say? I reckon it's something in the wood. What do you mean the wood? The wood, the wooden chest, the wood in the scrunch shield, the smithy's teeth, his loot. Your head. Your... <sighs> That's enough you do. What about Carold? Carold, that damned frog. I should have eaten his other leg and left him on that island. You really ate his leg? It wasn't my fault. It was him who cooked it for us. 
I'll see him right, don't you worry. Hi. Alright. Whatever that means. The chest. What should we do with it? It needs to be taken far from here. Buried deep, where it can never be found. It's me that brought it here. It's only right that I take it. You won't have to do it alone. Guswin Fatali will help, won't you? What? Us? But... Alright. We'll see you as far as the pace of road, at least. Scrunt. What's that? Nothing. Scrunt. <laughs> Farewell, Captain. You're off, then? Aye, it's time. Before you go, Mouse. I'll be needing my hat back. Oh. Right. Will you need the eye patch back too? Nah. It was just the fashion for a while. You know, among pirates. The captain takes his hat from you and puts it on. What do you think? Still fits, huh? <laughs> Which should I wear for clothes? Oh, wait, what? Um, something's, something's wrong with my inventory. Does this make any sense? I'm in the clothes category and it shows my original minstrel stuff and then food. Why is it showing food in the clothes category? What? Uh, okay. We'll worry about that later. Oh, Doinlin, hey. You fought bravely, good mouse. I've been grateful for your guidance, my lady. And I am grateful to have been seen, good mouse. Fatali, will you return this urn to Doinlin's tomb? Return? We're thieves. We don't put things back. We take them. If we... He didn't ask you, Gusto. One question. Does Doinlin need all of these jewels? I'll see it's done. I will bid you farewell, my lady. Farewell, good mouse. Tilo. Oh, Jesus Christ. It sounds like someone just broke a bottle across my ears. And rang a bell at the same time. May you find what you seek. Captain, let's get this boat launched. What? You really think you'll get to Paraclave in that thing? I have to try. I'll not lie to you. It won't be easy, but I've seen enough to know that nothing's impossible. Just head straight out, Mouse, until the currents take hold. You climb into the boat, Silas wades deeper, and with a gentle push sends the boat out onto the lake. You know, you're the shortest creature I've ever looked up to. Goodbye, my friend. As your friend slowly fades from view, your thoughts again turn to Mara. And Paraclave, waiting for you beyond the horizon, shrouded in fog and mystery. Both made in equal parts of truth and hope, of memory and dreams. Little more than the ghost of a tale. Oh, for a second, <laughs> for a second, I thought like, oh, we're going to get to uh, actually go there and meet Mara. And then I thought, wait, this might be the ending. And then it was. I suppose that's a fitting ending. Oh, my God, they stole they stole Carol's leg. No, meanies. Oh, So yeah, I guess I'll just sum up my thoughts on Ghost of a Tale. Oh! I think it's the first time I've actually seen Mara and Bryn. There they are. So 
So yeah, just some of my thoughts on Ghost of a Tale. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's a bit rough around the edges. Like, it has a lot of fairly small problems and little annoyances that kind of build up over time. But overall, I really enjoyed it. The, the biggest reason I was interested in it was the main character and getting to play as an adorable mouse. And that did not let me down. Tilo is adorable. And I love just, just the pitter-patter of walking around and running around on all fours and all that and putting on those adorable costumes. Like, it just felt really good to be Tilo. And I enjoyed spending time with these mostly ridiculous and often <laughs> sarcastic characters. And as far as what bothered me about Ghost of a Tale, the biggest thing by far I would say is the amount of backtracking that you have to do. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how obvious it is, how much backtracking I had to do, because I tried to cut out the vast, vast majority of it. But uh, I'd say probably for every 30 minute or so episode, I probably cut out 15 to 20 minutes of backtracking. So honestly, probably like a third of the game for me is backtracking. It gets old really fast. Uh, uh, thankfully, it's not like a huge, huge game. It's, you know, it's it's not short, but it's not so big that the amount of backtracking wore on me too much. And everything was charming enough that it wasn't too big of a deal. Like I said before, it, it's, it was so enjoyable just to watch Tilo run and scamper around on all fours in the pitter-patter of their mousy feet. That, that really takes kind of the edge off how annoying it is. But still, there is a lot of backtracking, and I definitely would prefer that there was a lot less. Other than that, there's just a bunch of minor things. Like, there's a lot of polish, I think, that could have gone into especially sound work. A lot of just outright missing sounds. Just explosions and elevators and, like, the last fight there at the end where there was basically no sound whatsoever so very strange um, and some other things like uh, quest markers and quest notes could definitely be better at telling you where things actually are such as the royal um, the, fa the final piece of the royal costume that I found in the catacombs like that should have been marked on the map by the blacksmith when I paid them to mark places on the map that definitely should have been marked and even whether it's marked or not like, it should have been actually visible on the skeleton, not just completely invisible. And there's no way to see it without looting the skeleton, which looks like it has absolutely nothing on it. Just lots of little stuff like that. A bunch of, like, quality of life things. But yeah, overall, it was a really fun time that I had with it. And again, shout out to the developers for patching it so incredibly frequently. They're really on top of fixing any issues that it has, which is really nice to see. Um, I believe it was made by a very, very small team. This game was on, uh, I think it was Indiegogo. Pretty sure it was Indiegogo. It wasn't Kickstarter. Um, but yeah, it was crowdfunded quite a few years ago with her early access for a while. And as I said at the beginning of the series, it finally came out of early access. But it's been in development for, I think, at least three or four years by a very small team. And I believe this is the team's first game. I think at least one of the people working on it was also... Uh, an animator, like a CGI animator for some big studio, I want to say, or something like that. Um, and yeah, they've done a pretty incredible job for what I believe is pretty much a first-time game from them and a very small team. They made something that's pretty damn big and really charming and, and really beautiful, too. So, I hope you enjoyed Ghost of a Tale, and thanks for watching.